What's going on my people? Welcome back to another week here on the Mentality of Success and boy do I have a fantastic episode for you today. We're going to talk about one of my favorite things, one of my favorite areas of success and that is community. So stick around and I'm going to show you how you can use and leverage community to accelerate your success. Now this week I was, I received a, a message, a DM actually from a coach of mine, Coach Wayne, shout out to you. Uh, he sent me this video that I wanted to share with you all to kind of frame today's discussion. So check out this video and then we'll come back and talk about it. I'm gonna try to tell the shortest version of this story possible. Years ago, there was a famous mathematician. His name was Yuri Treisman, taught at UC Berkeley. And in his class, his Asian students were doing amazing and his black students were flaming out of that class. And so this bothered him. He asked his colleagues, why are they flaming out? And his colleagues gave him a bunch of answers like, well, maybe they came from unprepared schools and, you know, maybe they just don't understand the rigor. And he was like, nah, you can't get into this school without having like the academic chops, like something is up. So he asked his black students, he said, can I observe you for the next couple of weeks and just see how you're engaging with this material? And what did he find? He found that the black students were actually studying more than the Asian students, but the key was they were studying alone and the Asian students were studying in community. Fast forward, he made it mandatory that everybody would learn in, in groups and have learning communities. And within a couple of semesters, the black students were doing equally as well as the Asian students. What's my point? Stop trying to do everything by yourself. Stop struggling in isolation. Stop pushing help away. Stop feeling like I don't need anybody. Like, no, <laughs> okay? Life is hard and you can only take yourself so far. Self-made is never entirely self-made. Somebody had somebody somewhere give them a, a hand, an aid, a chance, something. So stop trying to do everything yourself and see how far you get this year. Hey, listen, that was from Dr. Shante. Um, I think I said their name right. Dr. Shante, I found that from, that was sent to me from TikTok. So if, if you're on TikTok, give her a follow. That was a great, I couldn't have said it better myself. I couldn't agree more. Um, studying alone. Studying alone. How many of you have been studying, walking, trying alone? Or maybe you've been going through life or doing life with the wrong people. And what that reiterates is what I've been saying over and over and over. And some of you are probably tired of hearing this, but I'm gonna keep saying it until it like it's in your subconscious. The three greatest currencies in life are what class? Time, number one. Knowledge, number two. Network, number three. Community. These, and in the, in the story she mentioned, these kids had better results by simply getting into community. That's how important community is, y'all. And I want to break this down because there's an accelerating power when you get this. And that's why I keep mentioning it. Because once you get this, once you understand the power of community and you, and you know how to choose the right community, it accelerates your success. It accelerates your knowledge. And it also has the opposite effect on your time. It gives you more time more freedom when you understand the power of community. So I want to break this down. We're going to go to the board today and I just want to, let's just think about the word community by itself, right? Well, first off, let me tell you this. There's four things that I think are highlights we need to start with. Okay. Community. There's four reasons why I say community is a power accelerator. Number one, community allows you or gives you the power to accelerate and simplify complex problems. Community, it simplifies complex problems. If you ever tried to get into, if you've ever been a part of a mastermind or you've ever been a part of a focus group, you know that problems tend to be solved much quicker when we get more eyes, more minds around the situation. Now, separate conversation around the right minds, the right eyes, but the principle is still, it still remains true. If you want to accelerate the solution to a problem, community is often the answer. Number two, community produces fulfillment. So if you want a more fulfilling life, 
then community is the way to get that. Why? Because we tend, our lives tend to increase its quality when we're a part of environments where we can serve and be served. All right? So community produces fulfillment. Community helps to simplify complex problems. And number three, community accelerates growth. And that's what these students saw in this example here. They grew exponentially faster simply by studying together. All right, number four, community accelerates your results. Community accelerates your results. And now I want to show you why this is. And if you're listening on the podcast, I'm can go ahead and check this out on YouTube. I'm going to write here a little bit because I like, I like visuals. They kind of, they stick better in my mind. And I believe that, and I don't believe I've studied this, for when it comes to the human psychology, a lot of times when we can connect the pictures, because our brain operates in pictures, when we can put a picture to something, it helps it stick. All right. So that's why I'm doing this. So check this out. Let's just look at the word community, right? Community. If we look at this word, and we just look at it for what it is, right? We would break this word up and we would see that the first half is, is calm and the second half is unity. So what is a community? A community is simply a common unity. A, communi a community is simply built on common unity, okay? So you may be asking, well, common unity around what, Joshua? Well, I'm glad you asked that question because I have an answer for you. Here are the things that community helps us to get kind of common unity around. The first is a common unity around language. Common unity around language. And some of you have seen this before. You've seen people who speak the same language, right? You ever came across someone that maybe English is not... Uh, something that they speak very well. And if you ever have ran into someone who doesn't speak English well, you can sense a bit of hesitancy in their uh, speech when they're talking to you. You can sense a little bit of hesitancy and oftentimes even some fear because no one likes to not be uh, understood or to feel like they're less competent. But you ever see that same person go from struggling to speak English over here to seeing their people, their community? It's like they turn to a whole nother person. Their, their language now speeds up exponentially. Why? Because community, community provides a common unity around language. Language is one of the areas that can be accelerated when we are in the right community. Common unity. The other area, community creates a common unity around communication. Now you may say, Josh, we just talked about that with language, but I'm not talking about what language you're using. In this instance, communication is how we communicate. Communication can be our style of communication, understanding each other, our verbals and nonverbals. Perfect example. Uh, my wife makes fun of me because why I grew up in most, some, many people would consider that the hood. I don't, like, to me, it was just a normal town, right? But where I grew up at, we have a different dialect. So when I would go back home, my, my, my wife would look at me and she'd say, yo, why are you talking different? And, and I had to explain to her like, this is, this is how we communicate here. I, this is how my family communicates. This is how my neighborhoods communicate. We, we have certain words we may not pronounce exactly like, you know, what you're used to because there's a common unity around how we communicate, not just the language we use, but how we communicate. There's certain environments where you, you can't look, look a person up and down because you're communicating aggressiveness, right? There's certain environments that you may walk into a room and you may wonder, why do I have to wear a suit? That ain't my style. But what you're doing and what you want to be aware of is that in that room, there's a common unity around communication. And so when you walk in looking all raggedy, you're communicating something. And I'm not saying that your clothes are raggedy. All right. Don't, 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 don't come for me. I don't care if you do, but if you do, you'll be misinformed. I'm not saying your clothes are raggedy. What I'm saying is 
to be more intentional and thoughtful. Because if you approach in that room with the right and you're, you have the right communication, because I don't care what anyone says, how you walk into a room and what you're wearing, communicate something. Always. So there's a common unity around communication. And if you want to advance within your network, you want to understand what is the communication of this network? How do people communicate in this network so that I can get into alignment with that so that I can accelerate success? All right, man, this is good. Let's keep going. So common unity around language, common unity around communication. The next area is there's a common unity around thoughts. Community always drives a common unity around thoughts. You ever heard of the term groupthink? If you've ever heard of this term, it derives from the idea that when people get into a, a group setting, what begins to happen is they all begin to kind of think alike. It's crazy what happens. And all this is, I mean, we could really go deep with this stuff because it, it kind of, it tailors back to energy and how we're all connected anyways. But what happens is when we get into a certain group, we all begin to kind of think alike. That's why you have in a lot of these political circles, it can become even dangerous, dare I say, because people will will stick to the group because the group has a common unity around its thought process. Democrats think this way. Republicans think this way. Right. But that's what happens in a community. We, we form a common unity around how we think. As someone who has faith in, in Christ and a follower of Christ, we have common thoughts. Well, you know what? <laughs> Some of the stuff I've just saw, I probably, it's hard to even say this, but we should, if we profess to be Christ followers, our common unity should be around what? Our thoughts when it comes to the Bible. How we digest those things. Because we are a community. All right. The next one is, in a community, there's usually common thoughts around beliefs. And let's do two right here. Habits. Yeah, beliefs and habits. Think about this. There's this old saying that says, your life, the success of your life will be determined by the five. Some of you probably already finished that sentence. The five people you hang around. We've heard this. But why is that? Well, this is why, because the five people you hang around, you're going to gain, if, you, if you're spending a lot of time with them, their DNA, their physical presence is going to wear off in your, in your life. Their language is going to rub off in your life. I didn't mean wear off, I meant rub, rub off. Their communication style, you all are going to build a common communication style, a common thought process, a common belief process. Your habits will begin to form. That's how important it is that you take stock and inventory of who's in your community. What community are you a part of? What are, what's the language? What's the communication? What are the thoughts? What are the beliefs? What are the habits? Because when you determine or when you identify what those five things are, you will see very clearly the final element of a community, which is the results. When you understand what's the common language, what's the common thought process, you understand what are the results that the people are getting in this community. Some of you, you've never stopped and thought about the results that the people in your community are getting and if that aligns with the results that you want for your life. Let me just tell you this up front. If you are a part of a community, a common unity around the, the language, communication, thoughts, beliefs, and habits, if you're in a community and you haven't yet stopped and taken a, a second to think, okay, what are the results these people are getting? Is that something I want for my life? I, if you haven't done that, I strongly encourage you to take inventory. Because if the results of the people in your community don't match the results that you want for your life, I encourage you to find another community. And this ain't a black and white thing. I'm talking community based on your values, where you're looking to go in your life, your faith, your, the habits you want to, to have active in your life, the fruit you want to love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and self-control, like the fruit you want in your life. You better analyze your community. 
because I guarantee you, no, no matter who you are, eventually you are going to become the community that you are part of. Why? Because this principle right here that we're looking at. Because there's a common, where there's community, there's a common unity. Whether you like it or not. Because this is time-based. All you got to do is stay in that community long enough and you be, pretty soon you're going to pick up the language, you're going to pick up the communication, you're going to pick up the thoughts, you're going to pick up the beliefs, you're going to pick up the habits, and you're going to get the same results. I'm telling you, this is a principle of life. When I figured this out, I had to shut off some, some friends. Not because they were bad people, man. Hear me. They weren't bad people. I still love many of them. But for that season of my life, I, I had to shed that off because I, I understood the, the language here, the, the thoughts here, the beliefs here, the habits here do not match where I'm trying to go. If you're trying to get rid of negativity because it's, 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 it's starting to pour out into your life, then you may, you may want to analyze. Who have you been hanging around? Is their communication negative? Are their thoughts negative? Are their beliefs negative? Are their habits negative? If you're trying to get free from an addiction or a bad habit that you know is slowing you down, look around your community. Look around the things you listen to. This could be like community doesn't have to be people. It can be like the, the Facebooks and the TikToks, all that, the algorithms and those things, they build a community around you. Get on your TikTok. Is it is every time you, you swipe? Is there some temptation staring you in the face? And I don't just mean sexual temptation. It can be temptation to get lazy, to get complacent. Temptation to procrastinate. So you're part of that community. The community of the procrastinators, <laughs> you know? You show me a broke person, I'll show you a broke community. You show me a broken person, I'll show you a broken community that's somewhere in their lives. And this isn't, please hear me, this isn't an attack on anybody. These are the principles of life. This is how life works. This is how success works. If you want to change your life, take inventory of your community would be the first step I would encourage anyone to do. Because when you do this, you will accelerate your success you will accelerate the results in your life because that's the power of a common unity, which we know as community. All right, I hope this was helpful. If so, then don't waste any time, man. Make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification button so you don't miss any of these same things if you're listening on the podcast. Make sure you share this, uh, uh, give it a like, give it five stars if you think it's worth that. And um, yeah, if it added value to your life, I'd love to know about it, all right? But that's all for this week. Again, I hope this was helpful. I'll let you take a last look at this because I, I think this is really gonna help some people. Remember, community, common unity around language, communication, thoughts, beliefs, habits, because that's what's gonna get you the results. Take a look at your community, analyze it for yourself through this lens, and then make whatever necessary changes you need to make, and when you do that, you will accelerate your success. All right, I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you same time, same place next week, eh? All right, reminding you that success is your destiny.